Hi everyone, Arthur Bird here with Bird's Piano Academy. If you're a beginner on the piano, you can literally learn just four chords and you can play hundreds of songs. Let's get started. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. If I could, then I would go wherever you will go. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Time to say. So with those four chords, you can literally play hundreds and hundreds of songs. And in fact, they're all using the same chord progression. This lesson is aimed at beginners. So if you're just starting out on piano, it's perfect for you. Let's begin. So middle C is here. And the chord progression I just showed you then was in the key of C major. So the C major scale is when you play single notes from C all the way up to the C above. Now, if you give each of that scale a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you play the first, third, and fifth, you'll be playing the C major chord. One, two, three, four, five. That's the C major chord. And in piano, your fingers are given numbers one, two, three, four, five. So your thumb is classed as a finger as number one, or your first finger. So you play with your first, third, and fifth. That's the first chord, C major. And with that C major chord, if you notice that you're playing a note, then you're skipping, you're playing, skipping, playing. Remember that chord shape, play, skip, play, skip, play. And if you take that exact same chord shape and move it down to the left, to the G, so you could go from a C here, C, D, E, F, G. Play the G there, but with that exact same shape, that's a G major. Okay? And then the next chord is an A minor. So if you just move that G major up to the right by one full step and they all move up, the same shape, you're playing an A minor chord, which is a symbol AM. Think about major sounding happy, minor sounding sad. Watch this, minor, major, so sad, happy. Okay, we're not gonna go too much into that right now, but let's stick to this same chord shape. So C, And then the final chord in this progression is an F. So if you move them both down to the left by two full steps, so go not to the G, but down to the left of the F. There, C, D, E, F, there. That's your chord progression. And a progression is a series of chords in a row. So you've got C major, and then you move that whole chord shape down there to the G, which is just inside the group of black keys there. And then up to the right to the A minor, and then to the left, to the F. Practice that chord progression with your right hand first of all, trying to play with your thumb or your first, third and fifth. And then once you get used to those chord shapes and moving between the C, G, A minor, F, you're gonna play each one of them twice. So you're gonna go one, And if you use the sustain pedal for this, which is the pedal which makes the notes ring on, which makes them sustain, it'll make it sound a lot better. If you've got an acoustic piano, there might be two or three pedals underneath. It's the one on the far right. Or if you've got a digital piano or a clavinova, it will again be the one on the far right. If you've got a, an electric keyboard or something, you'll have a plug on the back which says sustain or sustain pedal. You just need to buy a, a sustain pedal to plug into it. And then when you're playing it, you just push it down at the same time. And then if you just change it for the moment, for each new chord change, just makes it kind of ring on, rather than just like that. Okay, then once you get used to playing each chord twice, like that, then you can add your left hand in. So, 
All I want you to do is at the moment you've been identifying the chords with your right hand with your thumb or your first finger in piano. So the C major is with your C. So whenever you're playing a chord in your right hand, you're going to play a single note in your left. So the C major, you're going to go a full eight notes down in your left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, otherwise known as an octave. Instead of playing the left twice though, you're going to play it once and hold it like this. One, two. The next chord is a G major. So your right hand goes down to the G major and your left hand is going to go to the G as well. But again, just play it once. One, two. A minor, so you just play a single A in your left. One, two. And then F major, so your right hand goes down to the F, so your left hand does exactly the same, but with a single note. One, two. At the moment, in the left hand, you can just use a single finger if you want and move it around, or you can use your hand spread out and use this kind of fingering. One, four, three, five. But you can just use one finger for the moment, if that's easier. Let's do it. Together, one, two. So practice that, you might have to go slowly at first, just making sure you're not leaving big gaps between the chords. And then, once you can do that, you can pretty much play hundreds of songs, like in the example I showed you at the start of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. It's a bit of a crash course on piano chords, but isn't it cool that with just four chords, you can play so many famous songs. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Bye for now.